Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be installing Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4. That's right, Minecraft 1.16.4 has just been released and Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4 has also just been released. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4. Now, of course, before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos like these, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And I also would like to mention that we now have our own Minecraft server that you can join using the IP address down in the description or on the screen right now. Without further ado, let's get straight to installing Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4. So before we can get started, it, we need to launch Minecraft 1.16.4 just once, just to make sure you actually have downloaded and installed Minecraft 1.16.4 itself. To download and install Minecraft 1.16.4, open up your Minecraft launcher, come over to installations, and make sure to actually play the one that says latest release. All you gotta do is just select it and click play. All you really have to do is wait for it to hit the main menu and then you can click quit game. So the next thing we need to do is actually download Forge. So open up your browser, you can also use the links that I put down in the description so you don't have to look anything up yourself. What you're going to want to do is come over to minecraftforge.net. Then in this left menu right here it will say 1.16.4 which is what you have to click. Then there will be this download section and what you're going to want to do is click installer here. This link is going to redirect you to an ad page that is going to look just like this. And then after 5 seconds a skip button should appear here and you can just click that. This should automatically start your download. So the installer is a .jar file, a java file and what Chrome will always do is prompt you with a choice to either keep it or discard it. And what you're going to want to click is keep because obviously we want to keep this installer. Now I'm going to use Control J to open up my downloads and here you will see the Forge installer right here. Now for me it actually already works and I can already click it, but for some people it doesn't have this Java icon. So there's a few things that you can try. I'm going to drag it over to the desktop just to make things a little easier, just like that. What you're going to want to try is right clicking it, selecting open with, and then trying to find Java platform as a binary. So if this doesn't work, you're going to want to download Java. A link to Java will also be down in the description. Just go click that link, click the red download button. There will only be one button there. Download Java, install it, and then afterwards come back to this video. You may need to restart your computer in order for Java to actually be activated, but sometimes you don't even need to do that. Now you can come back to the Forge installer, right click it, selecting open with, and then choose another app. And usually Java will now pop up right here. Now if it doesn't, there's always the Jarfix program that I've told you about earlier. So you can also use the link in the description, but you can also do a quick Google search for Jarfix. Use the website that pops up first right there. And then just about here, you should find jarfix.exe. Just click it and it should download a small file. All you need to do now is actually click it. You'll be prompted with a yes, no choice where you have to click yes. And this will actually run Jarfix. Now it will say that the .jar fix has been registered successfully. All you got to do is click OK, close your browser, and then come back to the installer right here. And now if you right click it, it should show Java right here, but actually it should already have this icon after you run jar fix. So now it is finally time to install Forge. Just double click and open this installer and this should show you this Forge installer. Make sure to select install client right here and just click OK. This will open up a little installer that will actually show you what it's doing and after a few seconds, maybe it might take about a minute for some people, but after that it should be done installing Forge on your computer. And how do you know? Well, after a while you will be shown this message where it says successfully installed client profile Forge. You just click OK. Now if we actually go back into the Minecraft launcher just like that, we should now have a profile down here that says Forge 1.16.4. If you have a hard time finding it right here, you can also come over to installations where you will see the same installations but much bigger and much clearer. And then to actually play Minecraft with Forge, you want to click play on this profile that says Forge 1.16.4. So as you can tell by the huge warning at the top here, we are now actually playing Minecraft 1.16.4 with Forge. And as you can see at the bottom left corner here, it will say Forge and Minecraft 1.16.4 and it will have this mods tab right here. So if you actually come over here and click open mods folder, what you're going to see is an empty mods folder and this is where you can actually just drag in your mods 
restart the game and you will be using mods in Minecraft 1.16.4. Now that's been it for this video. I hope this video actually helped you out in installing Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4. If it actually did, then be sure to hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, which of course you do, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And without further ado, I will as always catch you in the next one. See ya!